Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be doing a plan with me in my Erin Condren A5 Wide Planner. Um, I will be using this kit here from Liner Designs. You can see I've already started to use a bit of it. Um, this is because I like to pre-plan a bit ahead of time to make these videos go just a bit smoother since when I talk I can't plan at the same time. Um, I also like to coordinate between two planners um, so I will also hello again come here sorry my cat wants some attention um, I will also use um, a print impression planner where I plan everything outside of grad school as you can tell by the title of this video, this is where I planned for everything related to my PhD. I'm gonna wipe that out since it's a little short. Oops. I should probably add in bougie boxes as well and use up some foiled goodies but if it's your first time here hi welcome my name is Ashley and I am a PhD student in psychology um, as I said I like to use this planner to plan everything related to my PhD but if you've been watching, you know that I'm actually on leave right now for my PhD. So I'm taking the summer off from doing research to work. And so if you've been watching, you also know that I I work as a researcher, doing like program evaluations in the community. Um, but I also got two new jobs recently which is extremely exciting, but also a little scary. Um, I got one job as a researcher, um, in which I will be doing like traditional research is within a lab. Like a lot of my experiences have been in consulting or community engaged research, which isn't like a typical research lab where your outputs are focused on publishing. Instead, your research outputs are really just focused on uh, Logan, come here. I'm trying to think what would be cute. Oh, there's kind of two. Okay, so I want to figure this out. So yeah, sorry, I totally lost my train of thought. This is what I meant that I can't talk and plan. Um, so I think I'm going to put two here, two here, and leave Tuesday blank. Okay. Actually, I don't think I need to leave Tuesday blank. I don't know. Maybe I do. Yeah, so um, it's a little scary working in like a traditional research lab. Um, there's a lot I'm still learning in the role. But hopefully I will be kind of picking it up soon. I also um, got a independent contract. Um, so it's like a self-employed type situation, um, and I'll be working on an e it's an EDI related project for an organization, and so I'm really excited with that project too. This is a little bit more in my wheelhouse, um, so it's a little less scary for me, but because it's a contract, it's a little less stable, which is why I wanted to also get the research position as well. And so I am still have quite a busy semester, summer semester, even though I'm not doing like traditional courses and research. Well, I am doing research. I'm just not doing my research. I'm doing other people's research for them, which 
is a little weird. I'm a little worried since I'm a little burnt out, which is why I'm taking the leave that I'm, you know, that not stepping away from research won't actually help recover me, but I think it's somehow easier to do other people's research. It's just when I'm doing my own, that's where the like pressure starts to build up a bit. And so at this point on the sidebar, you can see that I'm tracking what week we're in. I put these down ahead of time before I was even planning to take a leave, but I haven't decided to remove them yet because I think it'll still be good for me to realize what week we're on. Because one of my worries is that I'll take the leave and then I'll have a hard time transitioning back into this fall semester when I come back. And I really just want to make sure that I am good to go in September to hop back onto things. And so I'm hoping, you know, I can probably take the next month off, take July off. But then for August, that's when I start to kind of ease back in to my research. And the scary thing is that we are already almost July. Um, like I just decided to take a leave and only have suddenly two months left of summer. I mean, which is normal if you're like a high school student or like elementary school, but when you're in university, you usually get four months off for the summer. Like usually, oh no, I did the colors wrong. Um, usually you, there, like at least at my school, there's three semesters a year, a summer semester, a winter semester, and a fall semester. I definitely did the color wrongs. Oh well. I don't know why I do pink next, but I decided to do it next. I was like, oh, I'll do it reverse rainbow, but that's not reverse. Anyways. I'll just go with what I have. Um, like May and half of June, I was still working on my research so quite um still got like I guess kind of part way through the semester before I so decided to take a break which is okay because like you don't lose that time um like theoretically you can take a leave your last week of the semester it's just what happens is like tuition is like um, prorated based on the time it took you to take the leave so you wouldn't get as much tuition back but you don't like lose that time of work. Okay so now I've laid down the base I'm gonna go ahead and look for a foil package. Okay so I found I have this foil here and I was thinking putting it down but I think actually I'll bring in some washi in the spread so I don't think I want bougie boxes. Um, but I also have this like matte silver um, foil bundle because I want something for the bottom washi since it's a little bit more plain. Um, so I think I'm going to bring this in to this week's spread. The matte silver, I don't know, it like, I guess matches hollow, kind of. I wish I had like a hollow foil wiggle, but I think I've already used it up. And the thing is I don't use these this often, so I don't want to like buy more just for the purpose of using it for this one spread. Like the purpose is to use up what I have and haven't used, so. I think it'll look okay the, having the silver and hollow together. Plus I'll really just have the hollow I think in the washi. 
I only have four boxes of these though, so I don't know if maybe I want to cut them up. And use it on half. Sometimes I don't like that because then um, like you can tell kind of on the sticker that half of it's shiny from the sticker. But it's kind of nice to be able to use the foil through me. I mean, I guess at least maybe I could cut these ones in half. Maybe that's what I'll do. Since they're double boxes. That I don't mind as much. I'm liking how this is coming together. I think having hollow bougie boxes would have made it feel a little overwhelming. I think having the matte silver is actually quite nice. And it goes well with the kit. I find I don't use gold a lot and I love gold, but I find like it's hard to mix with a lot of times in the year. Like I find the only times that are really good with gold is like springtime colors where you get like the pastels. I guess Christmas too, but I find like silver is just so versatile and like it goes so well with like summer colors because they're nice and bright. It also goes well with like Halloween and fall colors. Actually, I feel like rose gold goes better, even better with those. Um, and winter colors too. Christmas too, but. I definitely cut that unevenly, but that's okay. And I also put that on definitely unevenly. Also, okay. I don't know, maybe I will cut these ones. So I'm not really sure what I'll do on Tuesday yet. Um, Tuesday I have absolutely nothing to plan on the day. So maybe, I don't know, I'll figure out what to add to these two boxes, but yeah, Tuesday it'll be a surprise what I end up adding. Okay, now let's get into the day by day. Um, so first off on Monday I had a bit of a work session um, I was working with one of my good friends in the program um, and so we have work sessions just to like have time to work with others especially over the summer it can be quite lonely it helps keep you accountable to your work especially on a Monday morning like, the first thing I never want to do on a Monday is wake up early and do work, but it helps keep me accountable to getting started all my week. Then I had a facil meeting, um, so I facilitate a support group, so facilitators meet together. And then I had a team meeting for my work. Oh, that's not... So yeah, Tuesday I didn't do any work. I took the day off because I had some appointments and my mom came up for lunch. You can hear more about it in my other plan with me. Um, but Wednesday was a bit of a busier day. First off, I had a support group. Then I worked on a survey for one of the projects I'm working on at work. And then I had a work session with a friend. Then I did some prep for the contract I'm working on and some prep for an interview I had and then I had a team meeting for a project. Then on Thursday, um, 
I had a meeting for the contract I'm working on and then I had an interview for another job which I don't know why I took it like I applied to a bunch of places around the same time because I knew I was kind of gonna take the summer off and where did I put my washi cutter here we go and so I knew I was gonna take the summer off so I was applying to a bunch of places and like I heard back from all of them which was great but I had already been hired at two places by this time and so I inter I decided to still interview to like get the experience of interviewing but I kind of feel guilty now that I did that <laughs> I don't know it feels a little weird to interview somewhere when you already have a job but I was like, I may as well get the experience, practice interviewing. And Friday, I had two interviews I was conducting for some more facilitators. This whole, like, if you've been watching my plan with me's lately, it's been so many interviews. Like, it's been me interviewing people for jobs. It's been me interviewing people for research. Like, qualitative interviews. And then it's been me interviewing for jobs and so it's really been a lot I want to see if I have a weekend banner which I thought I did have one yes baby yeah I have a weekend banner right here but it doesn't, like, it's quite small, so I'm going to wait to leave it. Right now I'll put up the deco pieces. So I'm just putting some deco on the top. So not quite an exciting week, um, especially now that I'm on leave. I was still debating like whether to make these videos or not, but I figured I might as well since I'm like kind of in the habit of doing them. Um, I kind of like talking through my plans as I make them and that gives me kind of a chance to reflect on what I did that week. Um, I think a lot of times I tend to underestimate the amount of work I'm doing. Um, and this helps remind me that I am getting things done. And I think that's important, especially as I'm taking this semester off. I think it's easy for me to kind of forget that this is a time I'm supposed to be off and I'm not supposed to be doing work. I'm supposed to be like enjoying myself and so um, the fact that I'm still doing stuff that's great okay I also have an extra shish kebab which I'll put over here so I'm still a little unsure what I'm gonna do yet for Tuesday so I think I'm gonna leave it as is and maybe think of something as the week goes on and once the week's over um, I'll upload it on my Instagram and you can check it out there to see what I ended up doing but if you made it this far in the video thank you so much for watching if you like this video you can give it a like you can also subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one